Children, maybe you're looking for the right words to say about Wednesday's events at the Capitol. News 19's Caitlin Hagwood learned more from a trauma specialist on how to approach the conversation. The breach at the U.S. Capitol was startling for adults, and for children, it may be difficult to understand. Jennifer Wolf, a trauma treatment specialist in Columbia, says it's all about creating perspective when discussing the event with kids. It's another moment. It's another day. We're going to get through this just like we've gotten through tough things before. The first step, she says, is following the child's lead. We cannot assume that every child is going to be traumatized. Instead, listen to them and offer an age-appropriate message, helping them to identify how they're feeling and reassuring each child that they're safe. Children are very literal in their thinking, so what you want to do is also put it into context. You can even bring out a map and say, okay, this is going on here. But look at all of here. We don't want to build anxiety and fear into kids. Parents should also be mindful of the language that they use and try to keep a normal routine, staying watchful of any emotional changes children show over time. The better we are with our feelings, the better the child's going to be. So you want to say, yeah, you know, it's confusing. I'm sad about it. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to feel whatever you're feeling. Despite an unprecedented start of the new year, Wolf says it's important to remember. Put it into context. Don't allow, the, your year can still be wonderful. Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX.